Oh, we'd been uh, traveling back from Oregon, back to California to visit my uh, grandmother who had, uh, was uh, uh, down to her last days. We were driving along the highway and um, uh, my mom actually first saw, uh, uh, kind of screamed and I looked over and a truck was, a uh, semi truck was flying literally off the road, it was off the ground and went over a cliff and um, immediately we pulled over. Uh, before the car even came to a complete stop, I started opening the door to get out and I, uh, there was other people standing around. I made sure someone was on the phone with 911 and then I um, went down, uh, ran down to the, to the truck, which was about 400 uh, feet down uh, the cliff to see if I could uh, start uh, talking to the driver if he was okay. My mother was very, very worried and, you know, yelling at me to, to not go down there and I, you know, I was telling her it was okay, it was fine, you know, don't worry. She was worried. Uh, the truck was completely on its side and the cab was smashed up against a very large tree uh, on its side as well. Uh, there was no sounds coming from the truck at all. I started calling out to the driver and uh, he didn't respond for a while and I was very worried, but uh, he finally did respond. Well, I started uh, thinking about my uh, survival and first aid training that I learned the previous summer and uh, I stayed back of the truck because of the fire and uh, started calling out and I went through a, a list to see um, any uh, medical con you know, uh, incidents uh, that he had. Next I wanted to make sure the, the scene was safe for me to enter to see if I could get to the driver. So I was uh, trying to find someone with a fire extinguisher to get the fire out so it was safe for others to go onto the scene so that I could uh, get to the driver. After I talked to the driver, uh, he, he requested a knife and I usually carry one with a window break and a seatbelt cover, but since I flew up, I didn't have it. And I got someone with a knife and a fire extinguisher and got um, some people helping uh, me in getting the fire out. And then after the fire was out, I could get into the cab. I opened the cab and again, like it was on his side, so it was hard to open the door. And I couldn't see him, it was very messed up inside the cab and uh, I just saw his hand reaching up to me. So I, I handed him the knife and then uh, had to get out of the cab because there was a lot of smoke. No, I, wait, I waited for a little bit and went up, uh, went back up to the road and there was uh, uh, an officer there. I, I told him the story and what was going on, but the driver had not come out yet. I don't know if he did. Yeah, I'm very interested in you know, disaster relief and uh, emergency you know, response. I'd like to be a firefighter in the, in the Army and then become uh, firefighters and civilian. Well, afterwards, I was, uh, you know, I was very tired from you know, running, uh, running up and down the hill, but I was, I was happy that I could, uh, I was very, very happy that my training, you know, I got to use my training and you know, hopefully help somebody's life, but you know, very uh, flustered and you know, worried still. I, I try to stay humble, but I'm glad I could uh, help him in any way that I, that I did.